Knowledge, knowledge, and knowledge are done. Hi, I'm Sam Tucker, and welcome to How to Read a Book in a Day Without Knowing How to Read. Well, well, no, you have to know how to read. I can't do everything for you. A simple! Now, the secret to books is that they usually only have two or three really good bits of information in them, or at least I only ever remembered two to three bits of information. So, to get to that good stuff, we're going to have to George Foreman this thing and Tybo the Fat! Oh wait, wrong boxing reference. Knock out the fat! There's a simple three-step process to extract the information while avoiding anecdotes, <coughs> explanations, <coughs> or context. <coughs> Breastfeed yourself the answers with step one, skim milk. Read the book cover to cover. But not this way with all the pages in between, no. But this way. Ah! Judge the book by its cover. Here we have successful businessman Donald Trump and what well, seems to be his butler. Then turn to the back to get more information about what the book is about. Ah, here we have Donald telling his butler what to do. And it's also about entrepreneurs and focus. And then take a little peek at the table of contents to see if anything jumps out at you. Like the thumb, focus, oh little fingers in this book. Step two, 2% 2 fat. Read the first couple of pages of chapter one because that's where some of the best stuff is. And then have a look at a paragraph or two of those chapters that you saw earlier and uh, just read what takes your fancy. Ooh, focus. Look for headings and especially diagrams, particularly ones in a pyramidic scheme. Step three, full cream. Go back to those good chapters and then read in depth the parts that you liked. And also check toward the end of them for summaries, especially if they're in dot point. Oh, if only people use their bullets for formatting, huh? Mm. And that's it. Now, if you come away feeling a bit like, oh, I didn't really get anything out of this, it's because, well, you didn't really read the book. So feel free to skim it again. And then hopefully you will know more about it than your friend, which is the real reason why we want to read a book a day, isn't it? To feel smarter than people. I know I do. Mm. Hey Ben, have you read Butler and Trump? No, I haven't. Well, I have. <laughs> Ooh, what's it about? Now, of course, this technique won't work with novels like <laughs> Game of Thrones. I mean, uh, Joffrey, sex with a dragon, has a baby called Ned. Doesn't work. But it might work with a book, Game of Gnomes. Ooh, science is coming. The way to read a novel quickly is to watch the movie. <laughs> it's always faster than reading it except for The Hobbit. And that's how to read a book in a day without enjoying it. I'm Sam Tucker, and stay funky, everyone. <laughs> hey, Ben, have you read Les Miserables? Subscribe today. Funk it down. You know, I'm Donald Trump, and I'm running for president. My first act of president, I'll get my butler to go to everyone's house and get him to support Sam time on patreon.com forward slash Sam time. I mean, get episodes early. Focus. A pyramidical scheme. Hmm. Focus. Sex and death. Breastfeed. 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 The way to read a book. The way. The way to read the blah, blah, Breastfeed yourself the answers with step one, skim milk. I'm still on the phone. Hello?